name's Andy, and on today's video, we're going to be replacing the front drum brakes with the Willwood disc brake uh, upgrade for this car, as well as the single bowl master cylinder with a dual bowl, and we'll be adding a proportioning valve to adjust the front from the rear. The Willwood disc brakes is a pretty comprehensive kit. Uh, it comes with everything you're going to need for the upgrade, everything except for the guy to do the work for you. I'm pretty excited about getting this thing put together and let's see how she comes out. There's some of you probably sitting there thinking, yeah, Andy, that bracket's on backwards. You're not going to be able to put that disc on. So we got to take it off and spin it around, <laughs> put it the other way because it's on backwards. All right, now the bracket's on the right way. Wise men say it's always faster the second time, right? So we got this torqued down to 30 foot-pounds, which is what you do for the 4-bolt. Uh, this is not the 3-bolt. Um, so now we can put the disc on.
Three hours later. Well, well that was a chore. This bolt got stuck. It was rusted solid right in that hole. This is how this sits on here. I had to take the angle grinder and cut the head of this off so that I could pull this off, pull the backing plate off, and then punch the, the bolt out from this side. Um, it just could not get out of there. Let's get back to work. Okay, now that we got those drums out of there and those front discs put on, it's time to move on to the brake master cylinder. Uh, the car came with a single bowl unit and we're going to replace it with a dual bowl. This will be a lot safer for the cars as it separates the front brakes from the rear brakes and in case something happens to either one, we still have the other set. So let's get that done. Alright, it's hard to see, but there's a cotter pin on the back side of this that we need to pull out to get this lever off of the brake pedal. Okay, now that we've let all of the brake fluid out of the system from the rear, this should be empty now. And we took the cotter pin off of the, the brake pedal on the inside, so now we can take off the master cylinder. So we had a change in plans. We were going to use the distribution block that came in the car, but the way that this proportioning valve is set up, which looks like a spaghetti mass right now, there is a front in and two front outs, and one rear in and one rear out. So to utilize what we have uh, here makes makes more sense than using the, the distribution block that was in the car. So. We're going to mount this to the bracket and then this bracket will be mount uh, with the master cylinder uh, into the car. We're going to utilize the existing plunger here. Um, just fit in there and just use the same boot, and that will uh, will just stay in place in the car. Well, that was a massive test in patience, uh, getting all of this connected, all those lines connected in there, and everything bolted in. Uh, but she's in, so now it's time to uh, bleed the brakes. Okay. Well, that was an adventure. After struggling with that front driver's side 
backing plate for the drum, we got that finally cut off. Then uh, with the master cylinder, I was having a problem where the uh, pressure switch for the brake lights was leaking and causing problems with the pressure. And I couldn't bleed the system properly. I went with the style that connects to the brake pedal uh, and activates that way instead of a pressure switch on the brake master cylinder. I also thought I had a problem with the rear cylinders in the rear drums. Well, they weren't actuating. It turns out I just needed to bleed the system better to get all the air out so that when you really push the pedal down the floor, it's enough pressure to activate those cylinders and then the wheels will stop. So I struggled with that for a little while. Um, so let's drop the car down and uh, tighten the lug nuts and uh, take a first spin, see how she does. Okay, that should do it. We got those brake pads seated in and those new drum shoes seated in. Uh, there's still a little bit of squish in the pedal, so I think I'm going to bleed them just one more time. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're looking pretty good. All right. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the next one. Okay. Okay. Now the both. We got to get rid of that single bowl unit out of there and get the dual bowl in. Uh, it's time to move on to the. Okay, now that we got 